Hello and welcome back to the Map on Platform Tour. In this video, we will focus on the most prominent feature of the system, the Map section. Here you can see all the vehicles equipped with devices, what they're doing, where they are, as well as access more detailed information. Note that we will go over only the general features of the Map section, and if you still have questions after the video, contact our support team. Now then, let's strap in and get the show on the road. Once you open the map section, you will see multiple fields and icons. First, let's explore the map itself. It's quite standard. Click and drag to move around and scroll the mouse to zoom in and out. Starting with the left side, in the upper corner, you have zoom in and zoom out buttons. Next to them, there is a search bar where you can quickly and easily find specific locations or addresses. You'll also find some useful tools below them. First up is the Street View feature. If you've ever used Street View on Google Maps, this is exactly the same. Just click and hold on the icon, then drag and place it where you would like to see the surrounding area. Note that this is only available if you have enabled one of the map types from Google. Next is the Measure Distance tool. With this, you can quite accurately measure the distance between two and more points. Just click on the tool and you'll be able to place points on the map. You can change their location by simply clicking and dragging them around. You can also set a point in between two other points by hovering over a line and then clicking and dragging the new point where you want it to be. Next up, the Simple Route Planning Solution is a great feature that allows you to plan the routes of your drivers. This is a basic version of our full route planning solution, so it contains some clear limitations, which can be removed by subscribing to the full solution. Symbol route planning is available to any user of the map on platform. You can create a route with 10 destinations at most, optimize and save it. Saving will take you to the route panel of the chosen vehicle, where you can reorganize destinations or optimize again before sending the route to the respective vehicle or driver via the map on go app, where the driver can indicate the status of each order and launch navigation apps. Let's move on to the next tool, create a new object. With this, you can create areas like parking spaces and depots, so they can be easily spotted on the map. To create an object, select the tool and place points to create a polygon of any shape and size. When you click the tool, a side window will open. Here you can name the object, add it to a group and see its measurements. Once you've set up and saved the object, you can hover over the blue pointer to edit and or delete the object. By clicking full screen, you will get rid of the side panel that shows all your vehicle data. This feature is useful if you need to take a wider look at the map. Click on the full screen button again to go back to the original view. Last but not least is point details. This is a quick and easy way to find out the coordinates and or address of certain locations without having to set a route first. Just click on the tool and then click on the location you want to find out more about on the map. In the top right corner, there are some more useful tools to look at. The first one is Map Type. This lets you choose maps from different map service providers. Next, there are Map Layers. Here you can activate or deactivate specific layers, which currently feature two options. You can toggle a layer that shows traffic intensity and a layer that shows public objects like hotels and cafes. The next feature is the Objects tool. We already spoke about creating objects, but by clicking this, you can choose to see all created objects or only specific ones. The last feature is a simple switch, which toggles vehicle icon grouping. When grouped, the number of vehicle icons in a certain area will show up as a bubble with the respective number of vehicles. This is to prevent the map from looking too cluttered, and as you zoom in closer, they will split up and each icon will show up separately. Moving on to the bottom of the map section, in the bottom left corner, there is a button named Show All. With this, you can quickly switch back and forth between the view of a single specific vehicle and the entire map. In the other bottom corner, there is a button that opens up the chat window, where you can communicate with your drivers. Let's continue to explore the map section by moving on to the data panel on the side of the map. Here, you'll find all the important information about your vehicles. 
At the top, there is a search bar where you can find and choose to see only specific vehicle groups. Speaking of groups, once you click on a specific vehicle, you can click the star icon to add it to your favorites group. This group will automatically show up when you log on to the platform. To the right of the search bar, there is a settings section where you can choose what vehicle data you would like to see in the vehicle info blocks below or the vehicle icons on the map. Underneath, there is a statistical overview of your fleet in real time how many vehicles are on standby, how many are driving, and more. Further on, there is the Vehicle Data Info Block section. Above it is the option to filter by country, year, or other criteria. There's also an option to sort your vehicles alphabetically. Now, let's take a closer look at what goes on in a Vehicle Data Info Block. First, you will see the vehicle status, whether it's driving, stopped, idling, or if there's no data available. The icon also informs you on what kind of vehicle or object the tracking device is attached to. If you hover over the icon, you can also see for how long it has been in the respective state. Next to it, you will see a flag. It represents the country the vehicle is currently in. If you hover over the flag, you will see more detailed location data. Next to it, there are a couple icons that provide more information, like the vehicle's supply voltage, or give you the opportunity to, for example, add a trailer or driver to a specific vehicle. The rest of an info block consists of data that you can set up at the settings above. Once you click on an info block, you will see an expanded view of the same information, as well as additional data. For example, the vehicle's total distance data. Underneath that section, information on the current route of the vehicle is displayed. At the top is the time of the last data retrieval, followed by data on the distance covered during the route so far, for how long the vehicle has been driving, and for how long it has been stopped. Clicking on this section will lead you to the route panel. Moving on to the fuel section, here you can see data on the two last refuelings, location, time, and amount of fuel added with the current total amount of fuel being displayed at the bottom. By clicking one of the refuelings, you can open a window featuring an extensive log of past refuelings. You can also get a fuel graph for a specific vehicle by clicking on the respective button here. After fuel, sections may vary depending on the specifics of the vehicle. For example, you can check the refrigerator temperature on an added trailer of a minivan, or the logged taco graph data from a freight truck. Moving on to the route section. At first, you will see the active route of the vehicle, but you can also check the historic routes by clicking the search bar here, or see where the vehicle was at specific times here. The routes can also be printed directly from the platform by clicking here. Below is more detailed information on the route, like how much time was spent at stops and on the road, as well as how much distance was covered. At the bottom, you can create a quick summary of the route. The last feature in this section is the graph section. Here you can see the same information on the vehicle's route as in the summary, but in the form of a graph. The last section on the side panel is for notifications. If you have any alerts set up or receive a different sort of notification, it will show up here. That does it for the map section. As we said before, if you have any questions that this video could not answer, feel free to contact our team and we will be sure to assist you to the best of our ability.